You're watching 13 Wham News this morning on Rochester CW with Doug Emblidge, Norma Holland, Holly Maynard, Evan Dawson, and meteorologist Marty Snyder. 13 Wham News, your breaking news and weather authority. Fans of Lost are excited. The new season is underway. Evan Dawson right there. There was yep. a two-hour premiere. You stayed up late to watch. I, right took, here on ABC. I took a nice long nap yesterday to store my energy. To prepare in. for it. Now, just ahead of the premiere last night, I conducted an interview with executive producers Damon Lindelof and Carlton Cuse, or Darlton, as we call them, the <laughs> single entity. Uh, they're going to tell us where the show is heading now. If you taped it last night, you can keep watching. They didn't give anything away, but they do give us a lot of cool stuff about the coming season. Take a look. Hello. Good morning, Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Chester. Hello, Evan. Hey, Evan. Well, what's going on? Season five is upon us, and we are so excited. My wife and I have been waiting for this for what feels like years, uh, and maybe no show in the history of television. I'm going out on a limb here, but maybe no show in the history of television is built more on ongoing mysteries and unanswered questions. Give us a sense for what kinds of answers we're going to get in this season. Well, look, when the show ended last season, we saw the island disappear in a flash of light. And the big question is, where did it go? And even maybe more importantly, when did it go? Um, we're going to learn the answer to that question. And what happened to the characters who were left behind on the island? I mean, obviously, the fact that the island has now moved through space and time has had a real effect on them and their lives. And we're going to find out what happened to them. Meanwhile, off the island... You know, we've got the Oceanic Six, basically the people who got off the island, they spent four years desperately trying to escape, are now sort of second-guessing themselves. They're trying to get back. So if you thought getting, uh, getting off the island was hard, wait till you see how difficult it is to actually return to an island that, as uh, my colleague mentioned, happens to be moving through both space and time. And last season ended with John Locke in a coffin, but I've heard you guys talk about, and we've seen the video now, you actually shot it with three different people in the coffins. I know you were worried that something might leak out, so you had Sawyer and Desmond, I believe, also in the coffin. Now, some of your fans will say, if you guys really know what's going on in the show, what's going to happen in the future, shouldn't have had to have been locked? How could you have planned for contingencies with other people? Now, I mean, we shot other people in the coffin because we didn't want it to leak who was in the coffin. So it uh -huh. was basically just, it was basically completely for sort of security reasons. The problem was Damon and I forgot to call Josh Holloway and tell him. So he called us up and was like, wait a minute, why am I getting into a suit to get and getting, you know, pancake makeup on to me to look like a dead guy? Is there something <laughs> you weren't telling me? Are you killing me off? Am I leaving the show? And we're like, no, 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 Josh, this was a mistake. We meant to call you, but we just needed, we wanted, you know, people are really curious to know about the show, and there's, there are people out there who want to spoil the secrets of loss, so we actually feel like we're running a TV show and also sort of an adjunct branch of the CIA because we're constantly <laughs> trying to keep our secrets secret, and we do stuff like that in order to do it. Well, one of the folks on our, our morning crew, Russ, is a, a huge fan, and he had a very good question. He said, you know, there's, it's so much fun following the little questions and mysteries, but by the end of the show, will we know all of the unanswered questions? For example, how did, they, how did Ben get Block's dad to the island? What is the smoke monster? Smoke monster? Who is Jacob? Those kind of questions. Are we going to get answers for everything, or are there going to be certain things that are not solved? You know, certainly all the questions that, uh, that Russ has, uh, will, the, the three that you just threw at us, will be answered by the end of the series. But, you know, so, sometimes Carlton and I aren't even aware of, like, what an unanswered question is. Um, <laughs> so we, we will be giving out uh, Carlton's home address <laughs> in the final minutes of the, uh, of the series finale so that Russ and That's any true. other concerned viewers can basically <laughs> sort of set up tents outside Carlton's home and, uh, and, and ask him on his way out to get his morning coffee uh, for the answers to the questions that they feel unsatisfied by. <laughs> well, I have an idea that if you use this and you make money, I just want a small cut. Here's my idea. Are you ready? Okay. My wife, yes. and I th my wife and I think that behind the scenes, you ought to be shooting for a DVD series that will be released after the show's over that shows you really did know what was going on. Th these are your planning sessions. These are you guys laughing at us as we make these idiotic guesses. Are you guys putting together any reels behind the scenes that'll eventually come out? Well, that would be smart. That, that is smart. How much do you want for that idea? 90% like, uh, of anything you make. 90%, yes, okay. <laughs> um, we, uh, we actually are not as, uh, as prescient as you are, so we actually aren't doing stuff like that. I mean, we do have what ultimately might end up being sort of the lost encyclopedia. There's a guy who works for us named Greg Nations who's 
job it is to chronicle everything that's happened on the show because believe it or not we can't keep it all in our own brains so if we have to say okay well what exactly was the year that Locke and Helen first met and right. when did uh, you know did this event happen before this event he has that he Greg has all that stuff in these big Bibles and it's enormously helpful and someday maybe somebody would love to see a lost encyclopedia who knows and last you know, our, our hope oh, go, go ahead go our ahead. hope is that our hope is that by 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 time the show ends, it will be very obvious as to whether or not we were making it up as we went along, or or that we had a plan. You know, the show will speak for itself. So, you know, uh, like any sort of good uh, illusion or or magic act, you know, the magician is always going to tell you that what you just saw was magic, even though you know that David Copperfield can't make the Statue of Liberty disappear. But what you, he he well he can he can make the Statue of Liberty disappear. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carlton. Well, let me wrap with this, guys. Uh, I don't watch a lot of television myself, but you, you make such good television because you take risks. So I've appreciated that from the beginning, and a lot of your viewers have. I hope you keep taking risks and have fun with it, and uh, we love having a few minutes with you. Maybe we'll see you again uh, before season six. Thank you, uh, Evan, thank and, you our, so and our thanks to Russ for hanging in there. He wrote some great questions today right here, so that was for you <laughs> I'll guys. bet he did. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and there's Russ D'Amino. There, wave hi, yeah. Russ. He is the mastermind behind the questions. You know, when you've got uh, an interview like that, you got to go to the experts. Now, I am an right. avid lost watcher, but Russ... But you're not an expert. Well, I, I, I'm not like Russ is, and he came up with some great questions. Uh, I right. think Ru Russ and I both wish we had 10 minutes instead of five uh, with the producers, <laughs> but um, no, it was great stuff. Wait, what do you think? Good stuff? Thumbs up? Thumbs yeah. up, thumbs up from Russ. Uh, yeah, very cool guys. And what's cool about them is they're very approachable. They're very good at guarding secrets, but they right. they know how much fun we have guessing, and so they do a lot of interviews like that. You gonna get the encyclopedia? I think if they ever come out with it, I may, I may write it. I may ask. You may. I may collaborate with Russ. So uh, we're coming <laughs> right back with your news headlines and your weather forecast. Stay with us.